All right, it's going off grid, and we're doing a little unboxing and something I ordered. I paid for this. This is not uh, free, so this will be a legit review on this product. This is, if you haven't guessed already, what I normally review is inverters. And we got some inverter cables in here. Inverter fuses, and we got a reliable 3000 watt pure sand wave inverter. But this is the, a totally different model. This is the one I've been wanting to review for a long time. This is a 60 volt uh, version that I ordered. It's tiny, it's, it's much smaller than the other one. It's still pretty heavy. As you can see, the 60 volt is uh, circled. Same with 120 volts and 60 hertz. Now, I'm going to pause the video. We're going to take this out of the plastic and we're going to take a look at it. Okay, so the inverter is out. Here's the front. I like the way the front looks. It looks pretty nice and clean, actually, the way they have everything mounted. It looks like there's some plastic to peel off this, but I'm going to leave that for now. Some nice plugs and our meters. In the back, we got our lugs. They look like they're decent quality. Similar to what they've had in the rest of the inverters, I have no complaints there. This inverter is totally different build compared to the other ones. Well, it's not completely different, but it's a little bit different. There's a huge heat sink in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now let's look at the other side. Uh, what brand are these fans? I think they're the same brands they normally have. I found them to be pretty good for the most part. I've had tons of these inverters. I think I've only had one fan fail out of any of them. Uh, out of, oh boy, probably like 20 different fans. I think I had one fail. It didn't even fail. It just it, it made noise. So I guess it kind of did fail. All right, let's take this thing apart and look what's inside. Okay, so we got the new... 3000 watt inverter and what's inside it's very interesting because the, their old inverters used to have the big mosfets but only two of them now they've gone to the smaller mosfets but four of them per transformer now i used to not really like this design or, or anything like that until i noticed that my three thousand dollar I mean, that's right these things are three thousand dollars each really expensive these have the small itty bitty little mosfets on the input of the transformer side in banks i believe it was banks of four very similar and uh, so after seeing that i can no longer fault having small mosfets so that's on the input side on the output side they still have the large mosfets now what's what here i don't know yet uh it looks like this is the output stage here right here this i don't i'm not sure what this is to be honest i've never seen something like this i i'd have to look at the board look on the other side there might be stuff on uh on the other side of the board but i think these are your output fets here there's just two and they could just be using this as a, a diode and they just have the third pin in there going to nowhere land or who knows what that is. I'm not sure. Um, what can I say about it? Fit and finish. It doesn't look bad. It looks actually pretty good on the inside. Uh, uh, capacitor voltage. This is a 60 volt unit. They put use 100 volt caps. That's pretty good. So they went almost, they went 40% over, overrated in voltage. So that's decent. Uh, just looking at the capacitors here. Yeah, I can't wait to test this thing. It looks like this thing is about the same as uh, their other 3000 watts. Uh, they got about the same transformers. I actually think that the transformers look a little smaller. So we'll, we're going to do a full load test. They also have less fusing but the fuses are replaceable i actually like less fusing much better there's a 
two fuses there. So it's 20 amps per, but that could be just because this is a 60 volt unit. Um, but that's really good. So this thing is fused for 80 amps. 80 amps at 60 volts. I don't know what that is. I have to do the math. But uh, yeah, so the thermistor is on the output side. So that is the weakest side. That's what's going to get hot first. And I'm sure, sure that they've tested that. That's why they put it there. And this is interesting here. Okay, so the output, it looks like the output to the plugs here actually comes from way over here. This is the, this is the output for the AC side way over on this side. So the board kind of goes like this. So input all the way across here, that comes back and goes around, and then that's the output. And then they have to run wires from the output all the way back to the plugs. Uh, at least that kind of looks like from what I can see anyways, they got two pots. That's interesting. I am looking forward to testing this thing. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Here we go. All right. Now we got the inverter connected to my house trailer. My house trailer is a 60 volt system. We got the batteries down below with the BMS. We have the BMS here and it's taking 0.1 of an amp. That it, this is taking less power this is, than their old model. This one here, that one there takes uh, 0.3 of an amp. So th with this one taking 0.1 of an amp, that's crazy. That's taking one third the idle power as the other one. I hope that doesn't mean that it produces less overall power. We are going to back feed the trailer. I have everything shut off so that we can back feed. We're going to be back feeding through this kilowatt meter I do not recommend back feeding it is dangerous but I'm gonna be using it for this test we are going to plug it in here's the front for 122 volts on the output and 67 volts on the input and let's plug it in there we go we just plugged it in everything got brighter in here the fan ramped up so we're definitely taking power Oh, look at that. We're taking a lot of power. Wow, that's a lot of watts. Oh, that's because we have a heater on. Turn that off for a second. Okay, so our test setup consists of that 1500 watt heater, that 750 watt heater, and that 200 watt heater, and everything else that's running in the trailer. The idle trailer current is taking 279 watts. And we're going to just start uh, turning things on. We are, in fact, running through a 20-foot 2-gauge uh, booster cable. So we're going to keep an eye on the input voltage, which is 66.6 uh, .6 volts. Output voltage is 126, which is acceptable. Let's see what we're at on uh, this meter. Let's go watts. 254. We're going to take this clamp meter here. We're going to put this around, set this to amps. We don't want to go over 80 amps because that would mean we're well over loading the inverter. And we don't want to blow the fuses on the inside. So we'll put that around this cable here. We're pulling 3.9 amps there, 3.8 amps here. So we got some consistency now let's go straight for the 1500 watt heater we're gonna turn that on we're gonna get some heat pumping in here if they can't run that well we get some serious issues okay we are sitting at 1500 1600 1700 watts almost 1800 watts 1836 watts are right here if you're looking, see what that's on the input. We're putting 1650 watts on the output. Let's look at the voltage of the inverter. We're sitting at 121, 122. Seeing it's working amazing so far. Oh, what was the input voltage? That's important too. We've sagged to 65.2 volts. That's not a big deal. 
awesome. Uh, 27 amps coming out of the batteries at 65 volts. And this one is saying about the same thing. That's awesome. It's working good. So, at about, on the input, 1800 watts, we're going to turn on the 750 watt heater. As you can see, so that's now on. Now the meter is complaining because we are take, putting too much power through it. 2300, 2300 watts there, 2800 watts here, so we got 500 watts of lost power or 450 watts of lost power. Wow, still producing 122 volts. That's insane. This thing is really good. We're almost at its max, too. Now let's turn on another 200 watts. Oh boy, what are we at now? We're at 3,000, just under 3,000 watts. Nope, 3,000 watts on the input. Output is 2,400 and 2,400 watts, let's just say. I can already feel it getting warmer in here. Wow, 122 volts on the output. That's amazing. Okay, I don't want to run this for too long like this, even though it is a 3,000 watt inverter. I don't want to fry my outlet here that's only rated for 1800 watts uh, 15 amps and I really don't want to burn that up and cause a fire or anything like that so we're still pumping 1600 watts out of this thing well so far thoroughly impressed really happy with it 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 survived the the uh, max load test of its rated capacity. I don't know if, how much of a surge it has. Um, I will be finding out soon. That's not going to be in this video. This video is just an introduction of their new inverter. I really like this inverter, to be honest. It's smaller, lighter. Fans just kicked in. They're actually fairly quiet, too. Smells like new inverter, like new inverter smell. Nothing's warm. Actually, that's not true. The, what was this? I believe this is the input side is a touch warm. Output side, maybe this was the input side. This has got more screws. I think that's the input side. Yeah, this is the output side. Output side is warm. The side with more screws is the input side. It is not warm. Not at all. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm guessing the output side is the weak point on this. But, I mean, it's... It ran it. Had no problems. Didn't even sag in voltage, which was awesome. Can't believe that. We're still pushing. 1,640... 1,650 watts on the input. 25 amps at 65 volts that's awesome and this is so this is the, the this new inverter is to I guess to replace their old inverter I don't know if it's completely replacing this one or if they just have two models now but uh, I, I still have the old this this is the one that's going to be running my trailer uh, I was having issues with the 8,000 watt um, and I just decided to do with it do away with it it was too big for in here anyways but uh, yeah, the 8,000 watt, uh, I was having problems with it. Um, it would output about 3,000 watts. This, it would put, output about the same amount of power as this, but it was like two or three times the size. So I just, I just did away with it. I'm not gonna use that in here. Um, not exactly sure what's wrong with it. Lasted uh, one and a half years uh, on AC units. And then I put it in here. It was working fine for a while. I blew the fuses on the inside apparently, replaced them, it worked for a bit again and now it's just not working. So that's the story on the 8,000 watt inverter. So I have this 3,000 watt and this 3,000 watt. They're my new 60 uh, volt inverters. I'm just doing a full load or now I'm doing a half load uh, test on it. It's actually cooled down on the the output side, I can feel it's cooling down ever so slightly. So 
So I'm going to shut this heater off now. Don't want to kill my batteries. Pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. It helps a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.